Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In my last video I gave you a brief history of Doggerland, the ancient lost landmass now lying beneath the North Sea, and I showed you some of the incredible finds that have been discovered including intricate tools made from flint and bone and this incredible decorated bison or Yorux bone. Since the Ice Age life on Doggerland was never straightforward, turning from a lush savanna to icy tundra more than once, being covered in ash 12,900 years ago after the eruption of the German Lachesee volcano, experiencing the freeze of the Younger Dryas and of course the effects of rising sea level and sinking land. But after all of this, the worst was still yet to come and around 6170 BC the remaining parts of Doggerland that was still above sea level felt the full force of a mega tsunami, an event that would have truly devastated Doggerland. It was triggered by something called the Storega Slide. Just over 8000 years ago off the coast of Norway, a huge part of the seabed suddenly shifted and the effects were truly devastating, sending an enormous wave crashing into Britain, Scandinavia and Doggerland at a speed of 80 miles an hour before continuing on to the European mainland. So what was happening off the coast of Norway? Why was there a huge submarine slide? Well, as the world came out of the Ice Age, huge volumes of methane that were trapped below the seabed began to thaw, and this methane was turning back into a gas. And with the release of gas, the continental shelf was becoming more unstable. On top of this, the ground was moving as well, with some parts flexing upwards as the ice continued to melt and the weight reduced, and like the area of the North Sea, some parts were flexing downwards and that's so the Earth's crust can reach an equilibrium. Around Norway, as the ice was no longer pushing down the land and as the gas was bubbling up trying to reach the surface, scientists believe it resulted in a major earthquake as the pressure was released. The Storega Slide is the third largest known submarine slide in history, with nearly 300 kilometers of the continental shelf collapsing in just hours, displacing huge volumes of seawater and sending it in every direction. Many of us will remember or even witness firsthand the devastating scenes of the tsunamis of 2004 and 2011, and that's in the modern age where we can monitor earthquakes and give tsunami warnings, so it's hard to imagine what went through the minds of the Mesolithic people. They would have felt the deep rumblings of a major earthquake, not knowing what it was, they would have witnessed the strange and frantic behaviour of animals which, as we know, sense danger when it's near, and they would have seen a giant wave heading in their direction at a truly frightening pace. Amazingly, we also know the time of year when the tsunami struck, and that's thanks to fruit stones that were discovered in tsunami sediments. It happened during the autumn, around late October, a true Halloween nightmare for so many people. During the summer, experts believe that Mesolithic people of this part of the world would have been hunting in the highlands, returning to their coastal and lowland camps and settlements in the autumn, where they stayed to prepare for the winter ahead. For this reason, experts believe around a quarter of Britain's Mesolithic population lost their lives making it, per capita, the deadliest natural disaster in the history of Britain. So many people would have been in the path of this killer wave. In Britain it was just the communities on the east coast and three miles inland that were affected, but for the flat low-lying plains of Doggerland the event would have been much more extreme. The land was already sinking, sea levels were already rising from the melting polar ice, and Doggerland was very much a lowland region. There was no flood defence or mountains to seek refuge, and so the tsunami would have affected the entire landmass. I do try and picture it in my head. 
The people in their autumn and winter coastal camps, watching in confusion, fear or wonder, as the sea vanished out of sight, rapidly withdrawing from the coastline. And then an eerie silence as people stood on the shore, looking out where the ocean should be. If it happens today, we know to run and try and find high ground, but I imagine the Mesolithic people of Britain, Europe and Doggerland may have simply stood and waited, until it was too late to do anything at all. Experts believe that at this time, around 100,000 people lived on Doggerland, and obviously, we have no way of knowing how many, if any, survived, but the evidence is there beneath the North Sea. And if people did survive, the danger wasn't even over. In just a matter of hours, two more tsunamis followed. There was no international aid effort in the Mesolithic, and no tribes of Europe to come and rescue those displaced or trapped. If you survived the tsunami, it would have been like a living hell thereafter. Food to survive the winter would have been gone, family and friends washed away, Boats damaged and camps disappeared. There would have been nobody to help the injured or sick, and if you were trapped you may have stayed there. Culture, oral histories and traditions were lost, and any megalithic structures would have been smashed to ruins. By all accounts, Doggerland as a landmass did survive, but with rising sea level, it would not remain an island for much longer finally falling under the rising North Sea in the centuries or millennia that followed. Some believe the survivors of Doggerland actually settled in northern Britain, with some pinpointing the Orkney Isles, with their descendants building the incredible ancient structures we see. And, if true, it could give us a clue as to what impressive structures could lie in ruin beneath the North Sea. I always thought the Storega Slide was a rare event, and that Britain was a generally safe place with regards to natural disasters. But only recently I found out there was also another tsunami in the North Sea around 3000 BC. Some people have no interest in history. Some people have even less interest in ancient history and geology. But the Storega Slide is a perfect example as to why history does matter because if geologists and archaeologists were not researching Doggerland, as well as Holocene sediments of Britain and Northern Europe, we wouldn't even know that Britain and Europe could be hit by such a shattering event. Scientists now understand the causes of this natural disaster, and it was all to do with the Earth heating up after the Ice Age. Today, the world is still warming up, Ice is still melting in southern and northern polar regions, and so we do need to have a good solid understanding of history. Because, as we've seen in this video, it can help us to understand the dangers of the present and future. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.